This is lemon pepper or y'all got money. You know what I mean? When you got different flavors of chicken. <laughs> yo, come on, man. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, yo. I get every word y'all motherfuckers say. For you to sit here and, and talk about it, I invite you wait, to wait, my, wait, wait, my wait, wait. All right, let me ask you a question. How I, be, I owe you something for you. Wait, hold on. Why are you, you coming? Why are you coming to me? Because my... I hear you talking. Yeah, she's just acting like a little sensitive bitch. I'm out. Get the out of here. Come out. You know what, Puma? Before this turn, get the f out. Exciting time in Blacking. I'm getting ready to renovate the shop. I hired me a new apprentice, and I got me a new attitude. This is gonna bring Black Ink to the next level. I'm coming for the crown in New York. What up, yo? You're walking into something, okay? I look like oh, it. Can I please let know that shit you was telling me about? It's all in your delivery, so I need you to bring this across in a beautiful way. <laughs> in jail. <laughs> the is in jail? Oh, you a jailbird lover now? She got a date with this. On, on, um, it's a FaceTime visit that the jail offers. Well, y'all know she can't be doing nothing nasty because they're disconnected. I'm gonna do the nasty at the end because my deserve to see these titties. They're gonna block that. I like him a lot, Duchess. That's my, so I don't care what anybody has to say, even though he's a convict. He's a good guy. He comes from a good family. Oh, Scott, he got locked up. For tickets. He didn't, he's not killing anybody. No one died. No one died this time. Shut up. Scott says she has a boyfriend behind bars. It doesn't surprise me. Scott might be the craziest b I know. Like, she done told us she had sex with vampires. Now she got jailbirds. What's next, Batman? At least I don't be in here. What? So what the f you said? That don't work here. He sits there. <laughs> Uh, shut the f up. It's work smarter, not harder. This is a good day. I was kind of getting like kind of sad. I'm like, damn, man, I'm about to destroy this whole shot. When I first started blacking, I was struggling just to make ends meet. I could hardly keep the lights on. But last couple of months in the shot's been great. Business is booming like never before. So time to step this up and pimp black ink out. You can't claim to be king of New York and your shop look like a clubhouse. So how you doing, Donna? I'm excited about the renovation. Donna's the new apprentice in Black Ink. She's a pretty good apprentice, even though she got weird things about her, but I think all of us got weird about her, so f it. Scott, how is Donna doing? Um, working-wise? What else would I be talking about? She f everything in here. What? She f everybody in here. No, no. Rumors about the girl keep everything under the sun. <laughs> from the way she looks, from those eyes that she gives you. It's obvious to me that she's a little freak. She a little freak. Donna, go set my room up for me. All right. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I came to New York to apprentice at Black Ink because I respect Caesar as a tattoo artist. I open the shop, clean up, sweep, get the artist rooms ready. Apprenticing is you follow somebody around who you feel is a dope tattoo artist, you respect their work, and you learn from them. My coworkers like to start rumors, but as an attractive woman, it's like something that I just deal with. You know, I'm the new girl, so I take it, it's cool. So why is Don in the bathroom together right now? Just don't give it. Clean yourself up, baby. Where's Donna? In the back, smoking some He said she's in the back smoking cigarettes. What the? No! No! If you in the bathroom with Mr. O, just be happy when you come out of that. You ain't pregnant. I told you. I told you. 
them walls could talk. Mm-mm-mm. And not the walls in her vagina, the walls around the bathroom. What did they just catch you doing just now? Donna, I was just talking to Nothing happened with me and Donna in the bathroom. I see why people would think that something's going on, but doesn't my word count for anything? You are ill. Yeah, Bunch. How's it going? What's doing, man? Pretty good. Where you been, man? You checked in on 2-4, you missed the second week. Then you checked in on 2-12, you missed the third week. And then you missed the fourth and the fifth week. Can't have that. You gotta check in every week. Brother, it's, this is not good. I've always been straight up with you, right? Yeah. So if I ask you a question, I probably already know the answer. Mm-hmm. Okay. So where you been for the last couple of weeks? Just working and taking care of the lady. And what else? Um, I got arrested. Oh, we didn't hear about that part. While driving home from Black Ink with Donna, I was pulled over and I got arrested for possession of a controlled substance. I didn't want to tell them about the arrest because I didn't want them to pull my bail. Did I tell you no more misses? Yeah. And you missed two weeks in a row? On top of that, you get rearrested and you don't say to me? What do you think, it's a joke? No. We find out the minute they roll your prints, dude. So you know what that means? No. You don't know what it means when you get rearrested and you don't tell us? It's not good. You gotta stand up. Has nothing to do with me, my brother. I love you, but work's work. What the f are you talking about? That's some bull. Do you have anything on you? Any drugs? Hang on, hang on, hang on. In the pocket. One sec. Check the little pocket. Are you serious, dude? This is not looking good for me. I'm Are you You got a new baby coming. Now you're sitting there with handcuffs. I'm terrified. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how this is going to affect my pending gun charge. And the worst possible scenario out of all of this, me not being there for my daughter's birth. You got everything in the world going for you, and you're going backwards. And it makes us feel like because we got to do it. I have no choice, man. Man, I got to call the cops on you. I have no tat in my hands. How are you, Tom Evangelist in Queens, New York? I need a patrol car. We have a defendant in custody. How you doing, guys? Good. Yeah. So, I've tried hard to be a better person, and it seems like I just put myself right back into a situation that I didn't want to be in. I let Anya down. I let myself down, and I'm not going to be here to see this child be born. This is something that I'm going to regret for the rest of my life. I wasn't there for Lulu when she was born, and her mother, Coley, has not been able to forgive me for it, and I haven't forgiven myself either. It's over for me. Anya through her, you know, her feelings a little bit. I definitely broke her heart a bit, but I mean, no woman wants to go through a labor without, you know, the man who put them in that situation. So as it turns out, my baby's gonna wind up having to get a C-section. What are you trying to get this baby out? I'm so bad at that. No, I always get what I want. But I know Cody's mine. There's no question about it. And from this point on, all I want to do is be a good dad to all of my children. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Uh -huh.
Anya just came out of her C-section. It's me and a baby girl. Me and a baby girl to introduce you to my older sister. Her name is Lulu. If you have an older brother, his name is Achilles. They call me D to the A to the D to the D. I don't want this way of living anymore. I don't want to keep letting down my family. I'm excited about my plan. See, I've been through the fall. I've been where it's them, y'all. I've been through it all. Never get me. Keep on pushing. Hey, sweet baby. You just put a big smile on my face right now, hearing your voice. I really needed to hear your voice. I've been missing you so much. I'm not just screwing up my life and making a mess of mine. I'm messing up their lives, too. And I want to be a father that they can be proud of and look up to. Well, this is the hospital, brother. But yeah, yeah. It's finally hitting me. It's time for me to start taking everything that's going on in my life seriously and start getting my life together. So I've decided to meet up with Anya. Um, I guess I'm gonna take Dutch's advice and do it before she comes to the shop and tries to find me. I guess she's hurt by whatever's going on with me and But I owe Anya no explanation. That's responsibility, not mine. Nice to meet you. I'm Donna. Anya. Hey. <laughs> I like your grill. A grill has no place in the Upper East Side Cafe. Like, was you about to shoot a rap video? Was you about to eat with that grill in? Was you? So what's up? Because I don't like this that's going on. What's going on, honey? Whatever tension is between us for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know you. This is our first time meeting. And what's the craziness? Fill me in on what you're talking about. Well, I got the impression that there's a problem between us. You know what I'm saying? Where'd and we you never get that met. impression from? From everybody. Who's everybody? From the people in the shop. What'd you get from They said she don't like me. I don't you're living with my fiance. Why though? What do you mean why though? Why? And why would that be a problem with me though? You you coming off real hard. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you Look, walked in chill, here with chill, chill, chill. No, you, you see chill. me smile at you. I say, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Nice to I meet you. I see a smile, but I don't trust the smile. I'm trying to squash this beef with Anya so me and can be cool and I can eventually start tattooing in the shop and everything. But now everything's getting worse. I don't know if this was a good idea. I wanted to meet you because is my friend and you're his fiance. Uh -huh. So y'all yeah, friends? Yeah. So and doesn't he live with you? Wait, wait, I wait. I thought he painted there. Are we going into us? Because I don't you like how you're talking off. to me, though. I'm not, I'm talking to you. All your hands is moving around. That's like, how I in speak. In my face, like, I don't. No, this is your space. OK, now you see. Okay. No, we got to be real, because you're telling me I'm in your space, and I know for a fact I'm not. To no, he didn't help pick you me up. up. He just gave me the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use my words. But the more this bitch keeps talking, I just want to reach across the table and strangle her. Like, she's not even who to be with. And that's probably why he's in rehab, probably why he don't tell her nothing. Like, you not even letting him be who he is. And then you wonder why all these problems keep coming. What I'm not going to do is speak and have you cut me off because okay, you're so not speak, being... Anya. You see, you're doing it right now. So speak. I don't need you to tell me to speak. I'm speaking. I do, and I feel bad that he got to deal with all the craziness from Anya, and now I'm getting mixed into all the craziness. And why is that a problem, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, for you to question me, his fiance, it's a problem. Crazy. I'm crazy? No, no, I'm standing outside, and I ain't gets in the cab to go home. I guess she sees me standing outside, and this bitch gets out of a moving cab and gets her ankle ran over, trying to get me. Six. 
Bitch, you got a baby at home that's a month old, and you trying to hop out of a moving cab for round two? So I tried to listen to Duchess and squash with Anya so I could do what I came to New York to do, which is tattoo at Black Ink. But that didn't happen. Dang. Everything I hoped for went out the window. The renovation is done. I funk straight the out of Black Ink. Before, Black Ink used to be kind of generic. Now, Black Ink is his own personality. I really got into my interior decorating mood. I feel like Martha Stewart. Where'd you get this couch from, Caesar? Thrift shop. But well, that don't count. <laughs> this is good leather. What's under here, man? It's a pull-out couch? Yes. You got sofa beds? Yes. <laughs> in case you want to sleep. Summer party in Black Ink, baby. This is something that we've been talking about for years. Just a new look for ourselves is good. You know what I mean? It might be like an energy booster, a change of atmosphere, just to lift us up again. I like this desk, though, because we can actually see across. We don't have to, like, stand over it now and be like Black this somebody. on the stool. Like, yeah. And just <laughs> This Black Ink of Harlem is the foundation to every Black Ink I want to open from here on in. And once this foundation is finally set, probably be rich. I can't Wait, I'm tired of working. Good job, good job. No, I try, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got it look like it kind of hurt you to say, I did a good job, but I did. I mean, I get respect when it's due. Yeah. It's about time, though. Oh, Even though me and Duchess are separated, I still miss my friend. People don't understand. We had some bad times together, but we had a lot more good times. So I decided to take out for dinner just to get a little one-on-one -on -one time. Well, like you've been keeping your figure together, you know, Miss Model, Supermodel. Don't try to act all humble. Let's do it. I am Caesar, King Caesar. I don't be saying king, I be yeah. saying Caesar. Caesar's more like an yeah. emperor, he's above kings. I wouldn't well, say you, You've done that too. You've you done both of them. Yeah. Oh. I be getting on my time. I'm excited about this shop renovation too. Mm, I'm glad. I'm buying Ted a new couch so he can sit on it in black game. He should be happy with that. Yeah, he should. That's his favorite color. It's red. Yes. So talk to me, what have you been doing, Miss Dutchess? We're just gonna talk about you. Yeah. And what you appreciate on it. It don't matter. Why don't matter if I'm asking? You ain't been caring. I, I care now, so tell me. I'm about to go out of town. Where? To Paris. Mmm, Paris. What? Let me know, cause um, as your boss, I need to know these things so I could um, set around your schedule. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, thank you for this food. Thank you for allowing us this time to eat some of the bread. Your hands look clammy. Aren't you nervous? No. You ain't nervous around me. It's okay. I'm not doing this with you. What? I'm not doing this with you. When you hurt a woman, she'll put up a guard up against you all the time until you show her that you ain't the person you used to be. Why your nose flaring? My nose didn't flare. Yeah, it did. You don't even know when your nose flare. You know it did. Okay. I want to see... Stop! See, we still here. I'm not sure if things are repairable. I'm not sure if things are going to be back the way that they were. She want me back. She can't let a good thing like me get away. That I'm Caesar. Well, this was fun. I think since we're just friends, we should go butch. Butch? That's Dutch, and that's why you paying for it, because you didn't know what it was. Cheers! <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> Have a good one. I 
I've never been to Paris before. I flew 4,000 miles just to win back a woman. Either she gonna take me back, or I'm gonna make a movie out this and get my money back. Why you look like that? Cause you in Paris. Don't look like you happy to see me. I am. Look like you was having a bad time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just confused. Caesar is here in Paris. He's got flowers. It's just different. Scott basically told me what happened. This is a good sign of me to see that, you know, at least Cease cares. He does have some type of heart somewhere deep down in that little cold ass body of his. Tell me the truth. I tried to make peace and it backfired in my face. I can see how your face is. You don't look like you're having a great time. I had a great photo shoot. It was amazing, but back to... One and sassy to be in here? I think. Come on, let's walk. In here? No, let's walk. I don't want to be around him. I be sassy acting phony as right? At the tattoo shop I worked at yesterday? Mm-hmm. She didn't even come and say anything to me. How you coming to support somebody, but you don't even say nothing to me? Where's Duchess? I'm right here. No, this can't be Duchess, not the Duchess I know. I'm trying to be a better Duchess. Man, f that, yo. I like you for who you are. Change it. Then I gotta be back to Duchess is a bitch. Duchess is this. Duchess is that. Dutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dutch. The most powerful women in the world are bitches. Get own up to it. They gonna think you a bitch regardless. F them. They think I'm an ass. An ass and a bitch together. How great is that? Sound like a great combination. I'll tell you this. I came to Paris. I knew you was having a bad time. And I was trying to see if I could get a date in Paris. You gonna make sure I have fun with you? I'ma try. I don't really know this French I'm shit. Try. I still have to be aware of what the I went through. So come on, let's enjoy Paris. You wanna enjoy with me? I want you a little bit happier. Let's this ain't gonna shit. be easy. Why not? Because I'm just like. Feelings are not a light switch that you can flick on and off. It's not like that. Love isn't like that. All I can say is, in the city of romance, I'm gonna try to be romantic. Come on. This trip here will be a clear indication if me and Duchess are just friends or we back lovers. Those are some nice flowers, though, you know yeah, what I mean? I, I picked them out myself, I you know? I you did. Yeah, no, I, I did. sold the floors. No, 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 I picked them out myself and put them together. You need to stop. This is pretty dope, bro. I'm glad you came. Have fun. Yeah, I'm glad you ain't throwing me in the ocean. <laughs> now, this is the famous bridge. That I always wanted to go to. And look who took you here. So, what's the symbolization of this now we here? It's the Love Lock Bridge, I guess you call it. It's dope. Look. Damn, this packed. This wasn't playing. <laughs> oh, he got it engraved. That's dope. This is our last day in Paris. Let's just be running her mouth about this love lock bridge. I'm gonna take her around there, swing her, be a little romantic type. So what are we gonna put out with? Mm -hmm. Can't get in there. It's totally on you. Here. Here's our lock. That's dope. Right now, I'm happy. Things are the way they should be. You learn to figure out what you want in your life. And I love him. I haven't stopped loving him, despite his flaws, despite his faults. And I'm giving him nothing but every aspect of me. I don't expect anything else but the same in return. Wait, ain't we supposed to say something like romantic and shit? I don't know what you want to say. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. Wait, put it down. Mm. 
Ah, I guess so. Thought you and me were over all that time. Had no idea you stayed holding a lie. Everything up to this point was the easy part. Flying halfway across the world. But winning Dutch's back is probably gonna be the most difficult part about this trip. These last couple of days remind me of the old times. I truly love this girl. I'm gonna my self. Watch that. Tell me yes or no yet. Will you marry me? Yes. You sure? I love you. It's curious the way I let you in. Usually I'm so guarded. It puzzles me the way that we connect. see myself without her. After all the sacrifices, the fights, and the struggles I had with Duchess, I gotta say I'm truly in love. It's me and Duchess against the world. I've never lost my love for Cease during this relationship. In our off moments, like, that's what real love is to me. Curious the way I let you She's my best friend. I love her. I need a blinder. I need a blinder. That's the love. That bitch is crazy. This is a gathering for the renovation of the shop. What do you think, man? I'm wondering where the is all the dead people. It looks like a whole lot of support in Black Ink right now. Hey, hey, man. How's everything? Great. I can literally say hi to everybody in this party right now. For a re-grand opening party, you would have thought it would have been a load of mother there. I could have thrown a better party in 15 minutes. Wow, you got a whole lot of mother people in here, man. The support levels is really high. We've been closed like for a month, and it's raining today. It's a typhoon. I don't know, man. Jesus, that sounds like a bad excuse. My was nothing, and I had my grand opening party. It was kind of lit, bro. You should have told me I would have invited a couple of my friends. Puma stepped in and started talking wild with his negative bull. He sucked all the oxygen out the room. Hey, man, I like the brick wall, though. Thanks. Good looking. It looks very similar to something I've seen before. What's that? Wall. I got brick wall. You have a brick wall? Yeah. 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 Interesting. I don't like the vibe right now. I understand we not supposed to be beefing, but it sounds like you want to beef with me. So where's the liquor at? Is it, what's the f is going on? This is your grand opening party for your business, so you would have thought you would have put a little effort. I knew this was gonna be like this. Past couple of weeks, Caesar's been acting like a little bitch. At first, I tried to act like it was nothing, but if you mad at me, like at any point, you can say, yo, Ted, let me holler at you real quick. Like you comfortable with not speaking. And it's starting to piss me off. You must have didn't invite nobody either. I ain't invite nobody. What, are they best friends now? I'm pissed the f off right now. I can't believe my own cousin is even co-signing with this little dirty mother Even though we going through what we going through, we was never supposed to get to this. I know you're just doing this to piss me off, but this is really getting to me now. Somebody trying to be funny. <laughs> First, you said some about how it's so empty. Oh, because we don't have rage? I got money. Hey, do you got change for 100? You ain't talking about this brick wall. 
No, you said we the same thing, Ink 124. Like I rolled a brick wall to imitate him. I could have sworn you imitated me. Interesting. <laughs> this is depressing. And that, that kind of joke kind of pissed me off. <laughs> no, no DJ? No DJ, huh? No? Uh, man. This looks like about a bunch of bulls. We ain't trying to make money off of people getting drunk and wasted. We're tattoo artists. And I could have sworn I didn't charge five dollars to get in here. Like he does. Yeah. I've seen my business is contested very correctly. Yeah, she's been there. You see how my run. My employees are good. Nobody's wanting out. You know why? It's because you're in your business establishment. You do what you do, you do your running around, but you're there. I'm a businessman, you know what I mean? Right. So we gotta be in different, we gotta be in the same states. I need a cocktail. I just ordered some Patron. I came specifically from the train. Yeah, this is, this is a great green open about it, right? This is horrible. But there's no people in here. There's like 10 people in here. Wait, wait, wait. Who's going to text me? doing the insights. He has no friends. <laughs> My friend Erica Mena came through. Kind of looked like it was two different parties at one point. Ted, he has no friends. <laughs> I was trying to be nice to this mother. And honestly, I can't believe I ever called the truce with him. This ain't catered. Oh, wait, no, there's food over here, miss. He gonna come over here and talk wild about me? Man, Puma. This is lemon pepper or yeah, got money. You know what I mean? When you got different paper than chicken? <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, yo. I can hear every word y'all motherfuckers say. For you to sit here and, and talk more, when I invite you to the mic, All right, let me ask you a question, I owe you something, Pooh? Yo, wait, hold on. Why are you coming to the Because I hear you talking Yeah, she's just acting like a little sensitive bitch. Get the out of here. Time out. You know what, Puma? Before this turn, get the out. I am like America. I am George Bush. I will bomb your all the way the up. Do not play with me. I flip. It turned red. Cause understand this, I don't give a if Ted wanna be his best friend, I don't give a about none of that. Right now, I'm all about war. and I get to the fast show late and miss every damn thing. And guess who is coming talking some dumb Puma ranting and raving. He's charging at me like he wants to fight me. Caesar is the oldest bull that's going on in my life. I have to prove that I protect my family. So now I'm coming from that mother Who wants to fight? He got one. It's go time. You got your little dirty ass trying to jump on Duchess. You should have never put your hands on my motherfucking woman, homie. I declare war. Everybody. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. I've known Caesar since I was 18. We held each other down. But as time progressed, you start seeing the true colors in a human being. When somebody's constantly talking about your marriage, your family, a real man can take butt so much. I've done so much for Puma. I have money in his pocket, and I made sure his family had food on their plate. And after being a friend for 15 years, this ungrateful bastard trying to hit me with a Hennessy bottle. Sparta! All I keep remembering is you try to jump me and my woman. I'm not trying to be this mother friend. I learned my lesson. We can't be friends. But at the end of the day, we can go our separate ways and be adults. All I really want is just my family to feel safe and move back. The facts is, I'm not over that fashion show event.
I know in the past that I said I was trying to leave the streets behind, but sometimes it's just easy just resorting back to the ways you know. So this is how it's gonna go, right? I'm gonna give you the opportunity you never gave me. Stand up. Stand up, woman. Because that was some bull you tried to do me, rushing me with, with 30 as I look at Puma's face, something just snaps in me. It just takes me back to that night when this try to hit me with a bottle across my head. Say no more to talk about. Say your part. As men, we should be handling it man to man. So stand okay. up. Now as men, stand what? up, man. Right, right. I told you. I told you. I'm I'm sorry. I know where I came for, but it's not going to go down like that. You know what threatened you? Now I'm threatening you. It's okay. a man thing, pussy. Okay. All right. I'm a man, and as a man, I gave him a fair one. Get out of here. Oh, try to flip you up. This really tried to swing again. You actually are up. You're winning. I lost everything. And yet, you still want to fight. If I try to calm myself down, that. This is the first time I seen him since that incident happened. There's no way he gonna sit there and jump me and my girl. And I'm supposed to sit here and be like, is I? Right? I can't stand that. Sitting there like the world owns something. I hate Caesar. He can my whole black penis all the way through. All nine inches. Hold that. I'm a man at the end of the day, B. He's pussy. I'm not that, yo. There's no way. When I see him again, I'm gonna his ass up. Look at him push him through this window. Who's calling Tay? So Sky invited me to the Black Ink party, but I feel like I'm betraying Puma walking into Black Ink. But after the fashion show fight, I do think that I need to talk to Caesar and just let him know that I didn't have anything to do with what happened, and I definitely don't condone how things went down that night. Are you kidding me? What the f is this b doing here? This is incredibly bold for after what happened between me and Puma. I don't want no member from Inc. 124 in my shop. This is gonna get... Scott, get out here now. Hey, come here. What the you invite that for? I invited Sassy because Sassy's my friend. Caesar has to understand, yes, Sassy and Puma are friends, but Sassy is her own person. What Puma eat don't make Sassy You can't find room in your heart for Scott. forgiveness. Life is too short. You know what, I'm gonna have you let your man disrespect me and I'm supposed to forgive? We got jumped by her boy. I want you to talk to her because she came here. My like, come on, that takes a big person. My Listen, you're gonna get caught up in the middle. I don't get in the middle. I've been in the middle of your my what's But with what's this right here, there's no peace here. There's no need to be peace. There's a line draw. Right. That's their side. This is my side. You pick a side. I understand Sky don't understand what's been going on because she's been away, but she needs to understand that if she's going to be with Black Ink, she's going to be with Black Ink. If I feel any type of way that you're not for Black Ink, you out the f door. Evidently, she's here because she wants to apologize to I you. I don't need no apology. All I'm right, done. stop being so cold-hearted. Even if you don't accept it, my it don't look like that. Come on, like, damn, you can't talk to a bitch. It's going to make you look funny. Was. I'ma go talk to Sassy. Yo, because she's warm enough to walk in this building, I'ma give her a chance. Come in, Sassy. But if I don't like what she has to say, she gotta leave. This is the first time I've seen you, and I felt some ways, and I haven't got to see you talk to you. Right. This is why I got off my high horse, and I came out like, I'm gonna talk to you. Well, I came here, obviously, I could have saw Sky at a different time. Which is true. I came here because all of this could have been dealt with. We don't talk, my That's what the biggest problem is. Our biggest problem is because once things blow up, we don't see each other until the next situation happens. Exactly. This whole between me and Puma is personal. Like, you sit here and you think about the Mount time Puma done violating me. The drama between y'all two affect everybody. This was our base right here. All right. So if and I'm not here, I don't get to see I don't get to see Ted. I don't get to see Walt. If y'all not good, everybody's not going to be good. That's just how that it is. But you only know one side of the story. Yeah. You don't know the other side. Because before this fashion show, there wasn't no malice. He keep thinking I'm trying to do something while I was just trying to get us all back together. I didn't go to his house to cause him no harm. By him being angry, he blew him 
this is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I would never put hands on Puma just because. Only thing I know is from whatever Puma told me. Exactly. I apologize. I was angry because I didn't hear the story then, and I haven't seen you since then. Which is true. But y'all got to keep y'all to the f time to keep y'all together because I'm telling y'all that y'all are the glue that sticks everybody together. To sit here and have bad blood with people that you're supposed to be breaking bread with, just f***ed up to me. Maybe, you know, I need to really take my friend back in. The business between me and Puma is between me and Puma. You ain't got to do it with the if you want to come over here, you want to chill, you want to holler at us, you're more than welcome. As long as me and you ain't got a problem, that's all I care about. Man, I'm over it. You good, man. <laughs> all right, come on. Enough of this. Let's go. Years ago, I got caught committing credit card fraud in Arizona. Thank you. You bet. And I was sentenced to one year in Arizona. After I did my year in jail, I was put on probation, and I went on the run for a few years. While I was in Atlanta recently, two U.S. Marshals came and knocked on my door and came and got my pretty ass. How you doing? Okay. There are a bunch of things I want to go over about yesterday. Everything happens quickly, so I like to come back the next day just to make sure you understand what went down. When I committed the crime, I needed the money. I was out on my own. I didn't have no family. I'm surrounded by hustlers, and it was right there in front of my eyes, and all I saw was dollar signs. But you have good friends. Duchess was there for you. Teddy was there for you. Caesar was there for you. Really? Oh my God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> your employers don't come out here. Your friends don't really fly out. When you in jail, they just give free you t-shirts. Like, you get what I'm saying? My just walking around free sky or something. You know what I mean? But I can't believe Bobby didn't come out to see me. That's fucked up. Tell him thank you. I mean, that's all I can say. I'm sorry for letting him down. To fly across the country for me, like, I, I really appreciate that, you know? Yeah. And Teddy, did he cry? He might have teared up a little bit. A little bit? bit. Maybe. I knew he did, because that love me. <laughs> but I don't, you know, that's my friend. Um, first off, because to be honest with you, nothing ever goes straight. There are always bumps in the road. My nerves are rattled with not knowing the outcome of how much time that I could be facing. Adam told me that they're talking about nine years. That is scary as I'm not trying to come out an old ass lady. Unfortunately, it didn't go the way we wanted, but fortunately, it didn't go the way they wanted either. So you have two months of county time. Two months. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. you for me to get two months, this is such a blessing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm thankful for God putting Adam in my little su circumference to make this shit happen. The bad news is you'll be going to Tent City. And I'm not going to try to paint that pretty either. Mm -hmm. It's not. Tent City is what it sounds like. Army issued tents. You're going to be living out in the heat. They'll let you inside for showers and taking care of business, but otherwise you're outside in the tent while you're there. Damn. I'm going to jail in a state where mother don't even celebrate Martin Luther King Day. Thank you. You bet. Appreciate you. You're going to be roughing it. I've spent the last year trying to change my life around, and look what I ended up. I'm in jail. I'm not going home today. I'm going to be incarcerated for the next couple of months. And it's going to give me a lot of time to think about my past, to my present, to my future. I put myself here. Nah, I got to spread my legs. I got to put my arms up. I have learned from all of this is that your past always catches up to you. That's what I'm waiting for right now. Scott's getting out of jail today, and I'm going to pick her up from jail all the way in Arizona. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to walk out the door right behind me. Sky being locked up is definitely make me think I have different feelings for her. Like, Sky's just a unique 
Like, you don't find too many women like her. I hope me going to Arizona is gonna mean she starts to think of me differently. Cause if me and Sky was to have a real relationship, I think it would be one of the best relationships. I'm free! <laughs> oh my God, you really came? When I see Teddy, it's just like a breath of fresh air. Like my flew all the way out here to see if a bitch was good. Oh, I ain't know that had it in him. I didn't even know that had the money to come out here. This don't get paid for being that black gang. He just sit there. I can't believe you flew all the way out here for me. Thank you so much. How was you gonna get home if nobody was here for you? Bobby? That robbed me. I check all my accounts, all my is overdrawn, and that went ghost. Like, while I was in jail, Bobby emptied my accounts. Bobby is not the guy I expected him to be. I gave it my heart, and he took my wallet. You haven't heard from him, nothing? Nah. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I don't even want to hear about it. He's not around no more. Now let's get the fuck off this hot ass son. Got to get on planes to prove my love. <laughs> Somebody love me. Oh, help me out. Thank you. Help me out. What the? Yeah. Be nice. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you guys doing? Oh, this fancy. I can't believe you did all of this for me. I have good taste. You do have good you taste. Come home to something nice, huh? I think what makes me and Sky connection different from all the other is she definitely holds a strong part of my heart. A heart beats under the moonlight, a cool touch, breaking aside. This is new to me. This is a step that I've never taken in my life. And I'm scared for myself because number one risk factor in all relationships, somebody's gonna get hurt. Everybody think Ted is like a complete All I want to do is just But I definitely have feelings for Sky And I just hope that she fails the same way This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my like God, you look so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Want a drink? Damn, Blazer. I am speechless and I don't get speechless. I thought Teddy Pendergrass was dead, God bless his damn soul, but this reincarnated right in front of me. I know you could be a ladies man, but damn. If I feel like it. How you feel about me? more than what it was when we left that bathroom last time. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but yeah. it's definitely something else there now. We have opened up more with one another. Like, out of everyone, you know, we've always had a closeness, and I feel like I can open up more to you, and I'm thankful for that. I would say that Teddy is my best friend. Like, the way we talk and the level of connection that we have, if he wants to make a relationship with me, I am more than open to it. All right, so the little fork is for the salad, right? That look good. That is delicious. You know exactly what to offer. You didn't get to see the rest of the room, did you? No. <laughs> oh my God. This is beautiful. You open this. Ah. Tonight, that gonna get some just for him. Really know what you're doing over here. I'm nice with this. 
I see. It's New York tradition in the summertime to have barbecues. We have a backyard. It's an open invite to whoever wants to come, as long as you don't come on no bull The burgers is kind of good, yo. Why are you not cook? If you would have stopped acting like a hoe and let me love you, you would have figured that out. Teddy and I have unfinished business to discuss. He did what dumbass do. He put his in India, and last time, like, we really had a conversation was when I had to mush his ass in the water park. Like, you want to hurt a bitch heart? It's an icebox where my heart used to be now. That hoe. And I'm talking about Teddy. You're an ass do me a favor. What? You just keep your hands down. What? Last time we was this close and you had your <laughs> hands up, I ain't move fast enough. And that was because of what? Because of the India bitch. It's just That's like, not... I wanted to bust your ass with that India I'm telling you, I just felt like this should have had a little more of a respect for me. I already know what I was getting myself into. I just felt like it was different. Like, we doing dates and like. We, like, in two different spaces. You was looking for love. That's what you want. And I'm not there. I've been through a lot in different relationships, and Teddy hasn't had an example in front of him of what a true relationship and what love really, really is. And he's scared of it, and he doesn't want to because he's afraid to get hurt. What I don't want to happen between us is us to become enemies. Um, you being around when I came home from jail, like, mm -hmm. you already know I got wild love for you. But, you know. Teddy is part of a long list of have disappointed me already. I don't know what I expected from Teddy, and I'm more disappointed in myself for thinking that I could expect anything further than Teddy just being himself. We tried, it didn't work out. At least we still are able to end as friends. I just, you know, want to come to some type of closure with it before it gets out of hand. Why does it sound like you breaking up with me or something? Yo, Wilder, it sound like you breaking up. You think we ready, though? I feel like I'm ready. What are we naming the baby, though? I like Marcia. androgynous names, names that can be boy names and girl names. Maybe something like Marilyn. Nah. If it's a dude, it got to be something more like Major. You like the word Major? Yeah. I'm going to name a Muppet. Now that's what's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> About a week ago, I took the pregnancy test, and it was positive. My immediate feelings was like, a baby. And then, like, the world set in. I'm not financially stable. I don't have a job. That in itself is intimidating. Yeah, I'm nervous. You'll be all right. Speaking of being all right, with this baby on the way, I was thinking I should go work somewhere, and that somewhere, right? We're gonna stop right there. I don't want you going back there. I can't understand why Max is resistant to me going back to the shop, um, especially after Duchess called him and spread all these nasty lies about me f***ing everybody in the shop. She walked first. That's crazy. Then she Ted. The whole situation with <laughs> and his whole baby mama, ain't no reason you fighting that bitch unless you got feelings for this I came here to be part of Black Ink's family, and I kind of want my family back, you know? It was my dream to work at Black Ink, and if there's anything I want to teach my child is to not give up on their dreams. What type of an example would I set if I just gave up on my dreams like that? I tried many times to get my job back. I don't want you to go there, man. You my girl, and it bothers me when somebody disrespects you, and I can't do nothing about it because it has something to do with your job. Can you keep an open mind? Just let me talk to Caesar first and we can talk about it. I'm still against it, though. I don't want you going there. But you got my back. I got your back, your front, your bottom, and your top. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I got something to show you. Uh, I gotta ask you a few things. Come here. <laughs> right here. Right. You ready? Come here. Me? Yeah, what? Mm, I'm just asking. <laughs> you like sunrise over sea, and all your waves of endless love are crashing. Oh, fumble. That wasn't good. I've been in love with Max.
text us, I looked at him. We've been dating for like five, six months, and it's love at first sight. Would you marry me? I'm happy about this baby. I am excited to be a family with Max. <laughs> yes, see? Do everything with the and the ugly phone calls. He stuck by me, and I f him with that. <laughs> Stop. Don't be upset. Oh. Why did you hit daddy? That's not nice. Because you want to get out. I understand. Today is the day that Kwani's going to go set up shop in Atlanta. With all this drama that's going on since the Fashion Week brawl, Kwani doesn't feel too safe in New York. And now that Ink 124 closed down, she feels there's no reason to stay. You're going to be safe. I just wish you were coming with us. I honestly wish I was coming too. I'm not going down there to be a single mom. I'm hoping that Puma's not staying behind so that he can go and do something reckless. He needs to stay safe. He needs to not get arrested. I'm no one's prison wife. I'm not going to visit you in Rikers. None of that. You know you have a family at home. Be safe, be good, come home. I'm not trying to have you as a single mom. I actually love my daughter a lot and I'm trying to be in her life forever. <laughs> Come on. You gotta go bye-bye. No. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to sit down, Mommy. Sit. Come on, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Got a kiss? Mm -hmm. Right, come on. <laughs> come on. Come, come on. on. You gotta help mommy out here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course it breaks my heart to see my daughter like that. I love my family dearly. They're like all I got. But with all this drama and everything, I have a whole bunch of other responsibilities to take care of, man. <laughs> like this is why we're not supposed to be leaving like this. She has to be leaving with us. <laughs> I had to end like this. When I think back of all the things that's happened in the past few years, I've had some good times. I had a beautiful kid. I got married. I know pronounced husband and wife. I opened up a cool ass business for the community. I really appreciate all you guys coming out, man. This is like love. <laughs> And then I just dealt with hate and envy and ignorance for doing all those things. I owe you something, bro. Wait, hold on. For me going to support Black and Stupid re-grand opening party. And then Caesar bringing Big Joe to my apartment door and ringing my bell while my wife and child were there alone. There's Puma here? Black Ink. We know your ammo. There's a lot going on this year. That yo. And as soon as I fight back, I am the enemy of the state. Life is like a roller coaster. You have your ups and you have your downs. It's all about how you get up. have one thing to take care of with Caesar. It's all gonna come to the light. And when it all does, we'll just see who has the last laugh, man. in the point in my life where I'm not going to sit here and focus on love. I'm not going to focus on emotions. So if he's going to stay in New York, all right, cool. I'm still going to North Carolina, and I'm still opening up my shop, and I still got to do what I got to do because I cannot allow my success to be contingent upon another person. I can't. But sometimes you have to... Step out on faith and step out on your own.
and go for what you want. The Duchess is the Duchess. She sits on the throne. And that's where I'm going to be, with or without seeds. Hey, Dad. My flight lands in Charlotte in a couple hours, so I'll be there soon. I can't wait to get back to North Carolina. All right, love you. I'm so sick of this confused ass weather, yo. I hate to tell you something. I'm closing down Black Ink for a little while. Mm. I want Duchess back in my life, and I know certain sacrifices is going to have to be made, even if it means closing down Black Ink. You leaving Harlem? Just for a little while. I see no other choice but to close the shop. Duchess is gone, I'm be gone, and just running around clients. What other choice do I have? I'm going to help her with her shop and come back. But you know that going to take a little while. I think this is the stupidest Seeds has ever thought of in his life. Like, we have a family, we built a whole lot here, and for you to just close it for your own reasons says a lot about your loyalty. And I know Duchess, once she gets him down there, he's not coming back. Like, bro, you really gonna close the shop for bro? That ain't just any as a I can't replace. I love her. I put her in a family perspective. Not just girlfriend no more, not no fiance, family. I've been there for the Black Ink family since day one. I've done everything anybody needs me to do. And now that I'm marrying Duchess, it's totally different. We're in it together. I need to be there for her. And I don't think this business is gonna thrive if I'm, if I'm not happy. Did you think about like, what happened with Walt, Sky? This was the savior for everybody. Like, you just put everybody back at square one. Yeah, Black Geek saved my life. Saved a whole bunch of my life. And showed a whole bunch of my different way of life. But sometimes the things that save you are the things that hold you back. Maybe Ted, Sky, Walt, they all need a break from the shop. This is crazy. I don't think it was the end, Ted. I know it's not the end, but just it's a just new like... Chapter. I'm not a little kid, bro. My father not being there, I was kind of like a loner growing up. Now you're doing the same exact thing. It'll make me feel like a piece of shit, like no one cares about me genuinely. It's definitely a wake up call, and I don't know if I'll be able to with C's after this. Cuz, don't worry about it, yo. We always been good. There's no excuse for them gates to be down, and the excuse should definitely not be you went to chase Duchess down south. Where the hell does that leave everybody else? You get something to eat? Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.